They say it's a lot like golf, but you don't need clubs. Now, where's my putter? Fox 31 Denver's Good Day Colorado. It's the golf game where you're supposed to fling instead of swing. Our Dan Daru working very hard this morning, giving us a lesson in disc golf when we get back. <laughs> right now, Dan Daru visiting local athletes, putting a new spin on an old game. Hey, Dan. Mel, it may not be golf and it may not be Augusta, but it's not bad. Ooh. I'll explain just, close. that was close. I'll explain in just a minute. Hey, I got a good lie on that one. Welcome back. A few minutes before the hour right now. Uh, most of us probably aren't good at it, but we are all <laughs> very familiar with the game of golf. Yeah, that's certainly true. Well, today we are giving it a little twist. You might be better at this version. We're playing disc golf. Dan Daru joins us live from Memorial Park in Arvada to show us how it works. Hey, Dan. Hey, it's not a twist. Maybe it's a spin, Mel. It's a... Uh, <laughs> aren't you the clever one this morning? No, you're wrong on that account. Listen, let me tell you something. It's, it is golf, but you don't use clubs. And actually, here are my clubs. These are discs, Frisbee discs. And actually, it's the ball as well, Matthew James. The Absolutely. Name, in the name of the organization, it's a, it's a big deal. It's a Colorado Disc Sports Association, CDSA. All right, what park are we we're at? This is the Johnny Roberts Memorial Park. He what was happened a, to Johnny? Johnny oh, was talk a, about it. He was a teacher in Arvada. And Did he get known, killed playing golf? Known yeah. worldwide for the squeeze, as a squeezer geezer. He enjoyed hugging everybody. How much time did he serve? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Tee off now, let's tee off. Now, let's this, basically, there's a course here. This and the, the pin's down there. We're going to see if we can go for it. Go ahead and tee off right now. And uh, you're going to aim and tell us what you're doing and why. I'm just going to drive, try and get the disc flat okay. with a snap at the end. Holy mackerel. Did you get that, Cody? Oh, I got it. He got it. Nicely done. Thank I, I got to get, got. get my driver. This is your orange one. Oh, oh boy. Oh, <laughs> Did you see that? All right, let's go. Let's go get your Absolutely. ball. Absolutely. Well, you know what? In 30 seconds, I'm not going to make it to the pin. There's no way we're going to make it to the pin in 30 seconds. Do you ever get caddies in this game? There is caddies. The professionals usually use caddies. They're pro caddies. Yes. They're fun. There Absolutely. are professionals that do this? Absolutely. They make money. They're the, uh, uh, the only ones that make money. Amateurs get prizes. Is there a tournament coming up? There is. This weekend, there's about 40 tournaments, 50 tournaments a year, actually. And where's the tournament this weekend going to take place, Maddie? Grateful yes. Disc. It's uh, Fort Collins and Sundance Trail. Can anybody play? Absolutely. How much does it cost? It's about $60 for a registration fee. Okay, guys, we're going to toss it back to you, kdbr.com. And coming up, uh, we're going to maybe finish the hole, but we're going to start it right here next hour, okay? Now that's Caddy, Dan, how heavy are those Frisbees, really? Yeah. Uh, about 15 to 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah, right. Each. How lazy those are, are those caddy, golfers? Nelly. They need a caddy. Got to save the arm. Gets tired. Right, right. All right, time right now. Uh, two minutes, three minutes before the hour. Plus, it seems Dan DeRue's golf game has gone a little flat. Get it, Dan? <laughs> well, yes, right, but I'll tell you one thing. Guess what? I'm saving a lot of money. I'm still golfing, but I don't have to pay any greens fees. And you can, too. That's coming up in a few minutes if I can just hit the ball. And... Where's the beer cart? Where's the beer cart? I don't know. There isn't any, Cody. Come on. Oh. 8.54 on this Thursday morning. Dan Drew loves to play golf, but today he doesn't need a golf club or any balls. No, that's for sure. All he needs is a Frisbee. Dan joins us live from Memorial Park in Arvada to tell us a little bit more. Good morning, Dan. It's so big. It's the Johnny Roberts Memorial Disc Park. Can you imagine that, guys? It's a beautiful park. They have a dedicated 18 holes here permanently. And, and Johnny Roberts was a disc golfer himself. That's how big this game is getting. And uh, Maddie James is with me. And you're with the, what's the... the uh, Colorado Disc Sports Association. That's what I was going to say. 18 holes. And you know a lot of guys and gals are getting into this, Mel and Mike, because you know what? If you're going to golf, you need like maybe four or $500 for golf clubs, maybe 150 bucks for greens fees. Uh, thank you, Cody. Uh here it's like free. $15 a disc and then you just go play. And the disc is your club and it is your ball. Absolutely. So we were on the first uh, hole. We're still on the first hole. First hole. And uh, I had a lousy first shot, but uh, this is going to be my second shot. There's the hole right there. And then uh, which one do I use? What club do I use? Use the middle one, the blue. The blue one. Okay, here we go. We got about a minute left and I got to get out of here. Oh, no, see, no, come on over here, Cody. Oh, boy. That's <laughs> terrible. But I'm going to show you something before we toss it back, guys. This is actually the hole, the cup. This is what you're aiming for. 
And uh, you got some uh, chains here that actually stops. If you're good enough to get close to it, it goes right in. Hey, now, Maddie James, what if someone wants to get into the game? Is there a club organization? What can they do? I suggest checking out coloradodisc.com. We right. have a link to all of the clubs in the state, uh, di course directory, everything you could think of. We suggest going to kdvr.com. Yeah, there you go. That's what you sure should have on. said. So, Michael, when you're all done with this, come out. And uh, how can we smuggle beers on the course? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Guys, we're going to talk about you. <laughs> Damn, thank you. <laughs> of course, if his long shot isn't about him drinking, then he figures out a way to incorporate it. That's true. That's yeah. true. I'm surprised he doesn't make his own beer out there. <laughs> no. All right.